Hey, what's up guys? If you watched my last video, you'll see the uh, modifications and stuff that i done to this little hatchet to kind of make it my own, make it feel better to me. Done the handle, built the leather guard here, built the sheath, polished the head, put an edge on it. Um, if you didn't see that video, go check it out. Today, I am going to wrap the handle. Now, I've heard guys call this wrap the handle, whip the handle, or whipple the handle. So, I've heard three different things called. I'm going to call it wrap the handle. Um, the technique that I'm going to use can also be used on fishing rods, your regular axe, um, anything round like a handle you can wrap it you're gonna need i'm gonna use juke twine a lot of guys like to use uh, paracord nothing wrong with that the juke twine is just gonna have a look that i'm going for on this specific hatchet so we need juke twine tape a razor blade and maybe scissors That'll help us out a little. All right, let's get started and see what we can do with this. Uh, okay, find the end of our juke twine. You want to leave a little hanging off the bottom, like so. Now what you're going to do is just make a loop up here. Just loop it like this. And I'm gonna, t I tell you, this loop, a lot of guys put it on the back. I like it on the front because when you hold that hatchet, it's gonna leave a little indention in that. And I like the feel of that in the crease of this part of my hand. So it's, you know, it kind of grips it and keeps it from turning. So, we'll take a piece of tape. And once I get finished up here, you'll see what I mean by the little ridge. Just take your piece of tape and stick that on there. And you want, you don't want these to, you don't want these two lines to get twisted all up together. You want them to stay straight all the way down now i'll feel it here i want it to stop about right here i don't want to cover the whole handle so i'll stick my tape here like so make sure i got enough hanging off the bottom yeah it looks good Okay, now what I'll do is take this end that's coming back down, take another piece of tape, and just tape it right on the end. And like I say, you can do this to your fishing rod, uh, axe. Even your wife's broom if you want to. <laughs> uh, she might not like it, but it's good practice. Okay. Like so. Now what we're going to do, figure out where I want to start this. And I want it above. So... I'm going to go about right in there, and what we're going to do is just start wrapping. Don't put this real tight. I see a lot of guys mess up online. They crank this down super tight, and at the end of the whole procedure, you end up with a mess. So don't worry about super tight. Worry about getting them close together 
and even not overlapping it just kind of keep them straight as straight as you can and as tight together as you can not on the handle don't crank it down on the handle towards the end you'll see why um, I see a lot of videos online of guys just cranking them down and then at the end of their video they're they have all kinds of problems just lightly put it around and see that how I got this gap back here and here we don't want them we want it to stay all close up to each other so just push them up there you can do this like I say the same thing you can do it with paracord or any type of rope string whatever you want to wrap your handle with I prefer the juke twine on this specific deal because it's gonna match what I'm going for the rustic kind of look um, after I'm finished it'll it'll all match together oh, I already got a there we go Hopefully I've got enough line here to do this. I didn't measure anything out. This juke twine reminds me of the days that I used to buck hay. <laughs> oh, except for the, the baling twine is quite a bit bigger, but I don't know, it just reminds me of that baling twine. And you'll see here in a little bit why I'm saying don't crank, you know, you don't have to have it just squeezing the handle super tight. And it's the same way on your fishing rod or anything that you're going to wrap don't worry about cranking it down all that will tighten up there at the end and all work together and work out so who all's ready for fishing season to be upon us I know I've got a lot of I've got a lot of fishermen on my YouTube and I've got a lot of campers on my YouTube. I know I've got some people that are ready to, to go fishing and camping. I like uh, being part of the outdoor community. It's pretty cool. We have got everything from hikers to hunters to fishermen to campers to anything outdoors and I think it's cool even outdoor photography I've got some photographers on my YouTube channel they are awesome some of that some of that gear is high dollar well I had quite a bit still left over that's pretty cool I was worried I was gonna be short all right now we'll cut this shorter Sh cut it shorter than what the handle is you don't want it to hang out the bottom now here is where you'll see why you do not want to crank that down onto that handle so tight now we're going to take this end piece and put through this loop like so we're going to untape our end
Okay. We're going to kind of hold this out here. We're going to take this end that we untaped and we're going to pull it. We're going to pull that loop. It's going to grab that other, that tag line. And we're just going to pull it down. This tag is going to pull inside of here. And that's what I was talking about. The grip. You can feel it in there. And it just feels good into the crease of that. And it's the same way with the fishing rod. I, I like it in the fishing rod like that too. So That's what I was afraid of. Cheap. This cheap stuff breaks off. But I am down in there far enough to where I am good. That'll work good. Before I push this down, I'm going to take my razor blade and try not to get into the wood too much. If I do, that's fine because I'm going to push this. You can see it's pushed down. So I'm going to push all that back up. It'll cover up the cut mark if I make one. Okay. Now we'll push this up, keep everything straight. Now you, you see what I mean by the you don't want to get this too tight. I actually had it a little too tight. That's why it broke off down here. Um, it actually should have pulled that whole thing loose and come right out the bottom. But it didn't happen that way. <laughs> but that's all right. Like I say, we're down there pretty good. Everything looks great. All right. Now, let me grab a lighter. Now, anybody that's worked with this juke twine knows that it's fuzzy. It's just got little hairs all over it. We're gonna burn them hairs off. Now what I do, make sure I got everything straight like I want it, how I want it. Looks good. Feels good. I'll take my tape and I'll put along the bottom. Just right up against the juke twine close as I can get. Now on a fishing rod, it, uh, you wouldn't do this on a fishing rod. You do it a little different, but this will work on a fishing rod and it'll also work with paracord on what I'm fixing to do here. Just kind of tape all the spots off here. Now moving it around and stuff, I've got a few more hairs that's come loose. I'll go ahead and burn them off, clean that up. Because once this stuff dries, that, them things are really rough on the hands. Them little hairs actually turn into little thorns. <laughs> right. This is what I use. Gorilla Spray Adhesive. It's clear, 
color photo save we don't care about photo save repositionable um, but this is what I use shake it up make sure you're in a ventilated area which I do have my vent fan on all right that's pretty good now you get that sprayed and it look if you you look at it make sure it's all good and soaked everything's evenly coated oh yeah we're good okay now remove the tape make sure the tape is off before this stuff sets if not you're gonna have tape on your handle don't ask me how I know that I'd have to lie to you <laughs> I was actually gonna use what most people use the AB epoxy but uh, I seen this on the shelf and says new on it I use gorilla tape at work and man that stuff is just some great stuff so I was like you know what I'm gonna try that just to see now we've got all the tape removed now what we're gonna do is let this dry we're gonna let it dry and set up and cure all right so i've let this set and dry let it sit overnight i i'm not satisfied with the color of it though um i think it's a little too light I was looking for darker color here. I probably should have burned it a little more with my lighter and it would have darkened it up and kind of matched the um, leather. But I got to doing some reading on this and looking into it and I can stain it. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to stain this. I'm going with the same stuff that I used, the red mahogany, number 225. You don't have to do this, neither. You know, we could have just wrapped it and been done, but... I just kind of like my gear to look kind of nice. Does it have to? Nope. As long as that head, you know, as long as that head is uh, sharp, you're good to go to the woods. You don't have to do any of this stuff that I'm doing. I'm just doing this to, for my own personal liking. If I would have bought some darker juke twine, I wouldn't have had to do all this. I wasn't thinking. I was thinking, when I actually got that, I was thinking I wanted it to blend in with the handle, um, which it did. But after looking at it, that's not what I want. I want it to kind of match the, the, uh, the collar and the the sheath that I put on it. Some people are like, man, you're going through a lot of trouble for a little pack hatchet. Yeah, I just like to tinker and do things that I'm really not supposed to do. That's me, guys.
That looks like a pretty good coverage there. Yeah. I think that's going to work for us. All right, guys. Let this tack up, or uh, let this dry. Let that dry up. Which it matches the, you know, it kind of already matches the accessory, especially after it dries and lightens up a bit. It's it's dark right now, but it'll lighten a little bit. Um, we could have, you know, just used it the way we had it, but uh, no, I've got to keep on <laughs> adding things to it, so. All right, I'm going to let this tack up. All right, guys, it's all completely dry. I went ahead and put the paracord loop on the back. Um, it's just for hanging purposes, to hang it at camp. Uh, a lot of guys make them big enough to where when they grip it, it will go around their wrist, up and around their wrist, but I don't use that, so... All I need it for is, is uh, hanging. That's why it's so small. Um, the stuff dried on the handle. Good. The spray that I used. But I will tell you, I took this out and done a test with it. A uh, chopping test and splitting test. And it the, the uh, handle come loose. Or the, the wrap come loose from the handle. Now, I don't know if I didn't get this soaked in good enough and deep enough to where it contacted the wood or if the stain, the oil in the stain caused it not to adhere to the actual wood handle. Um, while I was swinging this, it was pulling back. It, it bonded good on the back side. Um, because I tried pushing it up, I tried doing everything back here about from that distance was bonded but up here wasn't so I pulled all of this back as far as I could get it and put some fix all adhesive made by super glue underneath there and then pushed it all back up cleaned it up uh, and now it is bonded it's not going anywhere it's ready to to rock and roll I was also going when this dried I was going to come back through with sandpaper and kind of sand this because this was too light to my liking. It was too light of a color. I was going to come back and sand it and it would have left colors of the original uh, twine that I used. But I like the way it looks now, so I'm not going to do that. I think it turned out great. Kind of matches the the sheath and the the guard um, I think I'm just gonna leave it right like it is but my ideas in sanding this was kind of to, to bring out the original color of the string and the stain still in there too but I'm not doing it I I like how it looks right now I think this thing's ready for the pack ready to go to the woods I think we're done with it. Complete. Woohoo! Time to move on to the next little project, but uh, I'm not complete neither. I forgot my snap. <laughs> oh, I got to put the snap on it, but it can go to the woods right now. That that sheath is not coming off. Um, it's it's pretty pretty good. Now I did reshoulder this hatchet. I recontoured the shoulder, made it thinner. Um, I sharpened the blade, which I could probably touch it up because, like I say, I took it out and, and have already done some splitting with it and, and cutting. But it, it has a decent, still has a decent edge to it. Um, you know, it, it does good on the paper test. So, uh, I'm calling it good, guys. 
thanks for following along with me and uh, watching me turn this little hatchet into my to my own personal tool I like it it's, I think it's cool but uh, don't forget to like subscribe comment uh, down below hopefully the weather warms up and we can all get out and do our fishing and camping and do our uh, adventures springs close I could feel it but uh, remember it's not how much you can spend what you can spend it's about the memories you make y'all take care boom